will be doing a really quick tutorial on how to make a sock bun. Um, I know you can go to icing and purchase those sock bun hair accessories, but forget that. Save your money, save your loose change because you can just use um, the items found in your home to create a lovely sock bun and I'll show you guys how to do it. One thing you will be needing is a sock, hence the name of a sock bun. Um, I don't use my socks. I use my husband's socks and uh, if he asks you guys where his socks are, don't tell him that I've been using it. But anyways, okay, so <clears throat> the reason why I use my husband's socks is because um, they're a lot more thicker and they have a lot more material than the socks that I normally use, which is usually the ankle um, socks. So you need a sock and then you need scissors. Um, a quick tip is if you do have dark hair, you might want to go with a darker colored sock. And if you do have a lighter hair, you might want to go with a, um, a much more neutral color sock. All you simply need to do is flip your sock upside down and at the toe section, you're going to cut it off and I have one here that I already did. I don't want to cut more of my husband's socks because he's going to be mad. But here's the, the sock that I recently cut. And I cut off the toes. And all you simply do is put it through your arm like this. And you're going to scrunch it up. So it's going to look just like a scrunchie. A really thick scrunchie. And set that aside. The next thing you're going to want to do is brush out your hair. It doesn't matter what color rubber band you're using. And you're going to... Flip your hair upside down, and the reason why I do mines like this is so that I can get it easily higher up on my head. Um, and just brush out the back part so there's no bumps. And you're going to do the front as well. Then you're going to tie it as a high ponytail. And another quick tip to give you guys is if you do have frizzy hair or, you know, wavy hair that tends to like pop out a lot when, you know, you're making buns or different hairstyles, I highly suggest doing the sock bun um, while your hair is slightly damp so that your hair stay in place and then you can hairspray it in the end. Using the sock bun accessory made from your socks, you're going to scrunch it over your ponytail just like so and then you're gonna slightly tilt your head forward so that the hair from the back part goes towards the front. I like to use my hairspray and spray the top part of the bun and then I just use my hands to flatten that part with a rubber band. I'm just gonna place it around my bun just like that. So as you can see now, the sock bun is starting to form. Now with the leftover strands, you can either braid them and twist them around the bun, or what I like to do, especially if I'm in a rush, is I just go ahead and twist one side of the strand, and then I just fold it around. And all you simply need is a bobby pin. And you're just going to pin it in so it stays in place. Then I get the next strand. And then instead of twisting it, I just like to fold it right around so it gives it a nice big chunky wrap. As you guys can see. And then I just go ahead Use another bobby pin and place that in. And if your bun comes out messy, it's okay. Don't worry about it. That's what hairspray is for. You can leave it messy, spray it in place. It's still a great look. Or if you want it a little bit more neater, like over here, I have some baby strands that are hanging. I just go ahead and spray the back part. And I just use my brush and I just brush it in. And there you have it, a beautiful sock bun that you easily made straight from home without having to purchase any of those clairs or icing hair accessories. This is what the back part looks like. 
here. The more you keep doing the sock bun, I notice it's quicker to do. I do my sock bun in literally like a couple minutes. So good luck to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to make a sock bun using this thing straight from home. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.